Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 14th of March. I would like to read in Revelation chapter 7 and verse 9. After this, I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, every tribe, every people, and every language. Standing before the throne and before the Lamb, they were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. So this is, is a new beginning in the book of Revelation when we see again the, all the creatures around the throne and we see the 144,000 people before the throne. How many people are going to be before the throne? We don't know. That's why John says that there were 144,000. 4,000, that's the, the multitude, that they don't say there are millions of people, it says it's a multitude of people. In, in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19, it's written, Never, nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm, sealed with this inscription, the Lord knows those who are his. The Lord knows. On last Sunday in, in our church, these two ladies came to see me and said, do you think Mrs. This and Mr. That are going to be saved? And I said, well, we don't know, do we? We don't know. Only God knows. God knows. And we are not here to judge and to say, wow, but this people is so mean. This people is so bad. But you were mean as well and you were bad as well. Because when we are not in Christ, we are not good people. There is no condemnation, says Romans chapter 8, for those who are in Christ. It's when you are in Christ that you become good before God's eyes. Otherwise, you are not good at all. Who do you think you are? Who do I think I am to judge other people? So we don't know. God knows. But Paul says in this text of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19, he says, The Lord knows, and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from what is evil. So turn away of uh, out of turn away from what is evil. But God knows who. The, those who belong to him. They were wearing white robe, and uh, this is going to be a bit of a, spoil, a spoiler, because Revelation chapter 7 verse 14 says this, and he said, these are they who have come out of the great tribulation. Life is a great tribulation. They have washed their clothes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. That's why they're before the throne. And the spoiler is that the white robe says Revelation chapter 19 are the acts of right the righteous acts of God's people it is Jesus's holiness in us righteousness in us because we haven't got it at all we cannot buy it we can only inherit it from Christ that's why we can be before the throne what about those palm branches they were that they were holding in their hands why are they holding palm branches? We know that this is symbolic. And John chapter 13, 12, 13 says, they, look, they took palm branches and went out to meet him shouting, Hosanna, save now. That's what it means. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. So these palm branches talk about salvation. And Revelation says that salvation belongs to the one who is sitting on the throne and into the Lamb, sings the Handel's Messiah. Salvation belongs to the one who is on, sitting on the throne. Salvation belongs to God, belongs to the Lamb. And now salvation is in you because your robe has been washed in his blood you belong to Jesus Christ. And one day you are going to be seen with people from every tribe, every people, every nation. God bless you.